Welcome back to our Chicago Bears online user franchise here on Madden 24 and today we're going to be taking on the New York Jets who are 4 and 5 but they've had a lot of different users and a lot of sim losses so that 4 and 5 record is basically thrown out the window we have no idea what kind of matchup we're going to be seeing here and 4 and 5 absolutely does not mean you're out of the playoffs like if we were 4 and 5 I'd feel okay of course we're in the NFC so it's maybe a little different but uh, I would still feel okay we have weekly awards you got a breakout quarterback trench boost and I really don't want to click my time to shine, but I think I might anyways. Of course, Colts with some awards, Fields with the best quarterback, and then Aaron Donald with the sacks. Do I really want to hit my time to shine, dude? It's not going to help. I don't know if I want to. I, I never see it, though, so it's like part of me is like, just do it. Let's go to the Jets, see if they have any injuries. A lot of sim losses, like I said, so when we have uh, sim games, we always turn injuries off, so unlikely to be an injury there. But we'll take a look at our roster real quick. Take a look at uh, the Jets roster, and then take a look at those scenarios, which uh, I don't know if I want to click that. Like, who could it be? Like, when's if it's Fields that they just injure just to injure him? Like, it's just not. It's just not worth it. It's just simply not worth it. I, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm not doing it. I don't know what I can tell you. Other than, like, maybe Tyreek Stevenson getting injured for, like, Kyler Gordon. There's, like, none that are acceptable for me. So why would I ever click that? It's just going to be, uh, you know, somebody got injured and then they're going to take advantage of their, their snaps. Screw that. Rodgers is still here. Wow. Okay. I don't know what his abilities are, but uh, he's starting them. Brees Hall, the running back. Got some good backups there. Garrett Wilson's good. Hardman's, you know, fast. Rager's the four. Devlin is the five. Uh, Alan Lazard's the three. I would never be playing him. Ruckert, even though his ceiling's kind of low, I'd still probably use him over Conklin. Left tackle, Jonah Williams. Lakin Tomlinson at guard. Tipman at center, who really hasn't developed because our XP sliders are too low. AVT's looking okay. And then Mekhi Becht in the superstar. Finesse blocking, at least for pass blocking, is terrible. So Uche should cook. Uh, Jermaine Johnson's still kind of low. Will McDonald, of course, he starts off at 24, so it's going to be expected that he'd be low. Quentin Williams looks insane. Uh, John Franklin Meyer is going to be a problem for our O-line. Deion Knight, a lot of speed. Okay, change of direction. What about the coverage? A little low, can't lie. Middle linebacker, Mosley, faster than I would have thought at this point. Barnes, 90 speed. Tim Downs, 90 speed. I would definitely be starting him. Jack Sinborn, our old player that we just never gave a chance because he's too slow. Cornerback, Sauce Gardner's a problem. DJ Reed's not bad, but he doesn't have the speed boost, it doesn't seem. Or maybe he only has, like, plus one. Bryce Hall, he's okay. I mean, not, not bad corners. Bynum, kind of a slow free safety. And then Leo Young, the strong safety, actually got a lot of speed. So, not terrible. Uh, let's do these breakouts. I think we have a couple of upgrades. Maybe not, actually. And uh, call it a day. So, breakout quarterback. This isn't going to get us a dev up, obviously, because he's an X-Factor. But... This could get us, like, I think 15k XP, so it's worth trying to get 400 yards total or four total touchdowns with Justin Fields uh, without throwing a pick, of course. The, I mean, it's like a full upgrade point, maybe even two, so it is still pretty significant. Uh, and then Trench Boost, I have never actually had this legitimately. Usually it's a rebuild, so uh, I'm not even sure what we got to do. The amount of rushing yards your team has. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to click that thing now because... I would say it would probably be running back that it would go for, right? Discuss being without one of your top. Do I just click it for the memes? I'm doing it. I don't care. It's going to be Swift, which kind of sucks. Please. Oh, my God. He's irreplaceable. Why would I click that? Skip practice drill. Play practice drill. What the hell? Well, I have made a costly mistake, and now I know to never do it. Oh, what the hell? Okay. All right, got to protect the edge. I'm supposed to be playing a match right now. Can I skip this? Wait, 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 you can. Skip. Um, hello? We go. Thank you. Okay, so I really... I do kind of care. Okay, is this going to be gold? Oh, no. You have to stop the first down every time. I'm not holding my opponent up that long for this crap. Take him down. I thought that was Tremaine Edmonds. Anyways. Okay, so this D-line is ferocious. Like, normally when you're playing in drills, like, the other side, no matter what, even if you have, like, a really bad offense, they're going to play well. But we're playing really well here. Wow. It might be worth it, but... I did not think it was going to be Edmonds. I was thinking it was going to be Swift, which, you know, I wouldn't want to lose Swift. But I could live with it if it meant, like, Sean Tucker gets a dev up or something, right? Like, that would be pretty insane. So, uh... 
Okay. Because Sean Tucker is my boy. He gets a lot of carries, so him getting a dev up would help. You get a uh, you know more upgrade points. All right. And nobody wants to come up is the problem. Oh, he gains yards. No, we had gold. Please. No. Okay, there's still a chance. We blew it up. It's third down now, I think. I blew it up and I blew it. Oh my god, I don't care. Whatever, silver. Do I get anything for this? Watch, it was like a bunch. What the hell was that? Just a silver? There's nothing for it? Okay, so it's all for Nisraldine, which... That's it? That's it? My time to shine. Three combined tackle... <laughs> Is out this way. Okay, so I am absolutely never clicking that again. But you know what? You know what? I I am no B. I am no bitch boy. All right. Let's take a quick look at his abilities. Sauce Garner, Acrobat, Inset Eyed Shade, and Deep Out Zone Kill. That's crazy. Unpredictable El Toro and extra credit for Quentin Williams is pretty good. Dashing Deadeye is ridiculous. Pass Lead Elite is ridiculous. Nasty Streak and Recuperation. That is... Wild. All right, we're getting the ball first, which is like the first time in a long time. He is wearing just the green top. I went with all white just because, I don't know, white bottom, uh, you know. Actually, no, it would have been dark bottom, white top. Either way, it could conflict. There's no conflicting if I am in all white. That's not true, probably. Oh, there's Valus. All right. I normally don't go with a spin move. I wanted to try it out. <laughs> just, I just wanted to see what it was like out on these streets. Of course, I think we need like 150 rushing yards total to get the trench boost, which I actually kind of do value higher than Justin Fields' thing. But maybe we just go off and we get both. Maybe Justin Fields gets like 100 yards rushing. That could be a that could be a thing, right? I don't have any actual read options, but there you go, Swift. Oh, Swift! Huge gainer for 59 on the first play. Good blocking. Nice little juke move inside. I don't want jukebox on Swift, to be honest. I don't know what I would want for him to get a superstar. I don't want it. I do not need jukebox. I'd actually debatably re-roll jukebox. And that's crazy to say, because I always used to think jukebox was insane. But Swift is Swift and DJ Moore, they've got the good juke moves on their own. They don't need it. They just simply don't. Now I kind of wish we didn't get a decent return, because it would have been even more yards. So no admins, so we've clearly made a mistake. <laughs> but Nizraldine has a scenario, I suppose. He's like 25 now, so I'm not really sure what best case scenario would be. I highly doubt it he gets it anyways. That's crazy to ask for. Uh, I actually didn't change the uh, sub linebacker, so it might just be the rookie starting anyways. And that's not a bad throw. And his guy, Alan Lazar, gets blasted, but really good angle for a big 25 yards. Our guy was on it, but the size... Kind of overran it. He kind of knew what was going on too well. I got the purple over there. I don't know if I feel good about this. That's a good run call. Oh, he cut back into the wrong lane. Brees Hall gets blasted by Woodard, the rookie, who doesn't really get to play a whole lot. We play a lot of two linebackers, and, uh, you know, it's just uh, it's just not enough. There's not enough uh, people on the field. Obviously, I got to start Dawson because he's hidden. And obviously, Tremaine Edmonds starts because he's the best player we got. And that's kind of my fault. Oh, what a hit by Brisker to deny the first down. Now, it's not likely that we stop him, but there's a chance. There is a legitimate chance. It's a hell of a hit by Brisker. I was trying to go for the bait, but he was like, I'm just going to throw it. Okay, how about how about, how about about I just throw it? I got Lazad. I got a touchdown given up. <laughs> ah, well, I guess it's a touchdown there, too. You even have to throw it. Hardman with the speed. Is that the exact same yards that we just scored from? A drag, man. The drags are deadly. Try to stop the run because it's like one yard for a run defense. is like so easy to get a first, yard, a first down on a run. But then again, you come with that front and it's like impossible not to freaking throw it. Valus. He's a problem. Valus Jones to the 24. Kind of want to see uh, DJ Moore. Field is too fast. Okay, I guess not. Who the hell is that? Jermaine Johnson? I personally... Now, I'm not, like, a Jermaine Johnson expert by any means, but I don't personally think he is as fast as Justin Fields. Of course, I did try to throw there at the end, but... 
Oh, this is not the play I thought it was. Zone coverage is not really good for this route. And then he just Jermaine Johnson's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. Oh, my God. One, one hit of the sprint button, and his guy instantly pulls off. And I guarantee he wasn't containing. Oh, man. I don't know who decided that was a good idea. Like, to add to Madden. And then Justin Fields. Oh, no. What a start there. That was a really bad drive. That's on Justin Fields, though. That ball needs to get hit. That is probably a first down, and if not, it's close enough to where I can go for it. Instead, 4th and 19, that's a punt. Three-man rush with a blocker, and we don't get away with the run. That's crazy. You sprint, and you instantly get the shed, no matter how bad the player is. Uh, Kyler! <laughs> the running back's running towards him, and he's just standing there. What are we doing? That's not play rack. That's blind. Like, what is he standing there for? I need you to run at that, dude. I don't know what he's doing there. This sort of leans in. We get a sackle for a loss. Like, that's crazy, though. For a Like, he pretty much has to blitz. And I'm not even, even going to try. I'm just going to user him. Oh, my God. Nizraldine with a pick six. It means nothing for the scenario, sadly. I mean, Nizraldine's a goon. I tried to trade him just because I knew he was good and, you know, somebody would want him, but nobody really gave me a decent offer. How is a pick six nothing for the scenario? That's crazy behavior. Is that not? Did I just miss an extra point? I really should have. It's like three sacks or tackles for a loss. Nothing else matters. You get two pick sixes, three pick sixes, nothing. Like, not even just a base touchdown matters. Like, how is a defensive player scoring a touchdown not, like, big money? Like, that's crazy. That's like if you were playing fantasy football and you got no points for a pick six. Like, that'd be insane. I just want my rewards, all right? I'm never going to get it with him, so I'm not really worried about it. Good try by, uh, Zenmukuamu. Damn, somebody want to get off the block. I'm half tempted to just use her Crawford this game. I know I got to pick six, but we need the rush. It's just not existing. I mean, I'm on that, but Buckner kind of misses it. A lot of short plays. I don't know if Brees Hall is a scenario, but everything's short so far. Like, even the big touchdown was a drag. Who's on who? Okay, that's a blitz. Oh, yeah, I'm sure of it. Look at Boogie. Oh, my Lord. Is there even a point in hit sticking? Brisker versus Hardman, who's still catching the ball. That's crazy that that's a slip off. Like, that is actually insanity. That's my fault. Running back's naked. A lot of throws at a running back, though. I'll tell you that much. That's my fault completely, but it's like all running back. I'm going to try to go for the bait with Brisker. Yeah, not much of a bait, you freaking bot. That's my fault again. I came up at the worst time. Vele Jones. Oh my god, why does that always happen? It's got to be something I'm doing, because I am just dumb. Has to be something I'm doing. Zone coverage. Or a really far off man. This is not good. Oh my god, Fields. I didn't even angle that one either. There's no way Fields is this bad. Like, there's just no way. I mean, just insta-rush again, bro. Just a zero for three. Oh, my God. Fields his ass. And somehow his edge rushers are, like, the greatest of all time, even though they're so mid. Like, it's just a play action. Like, I'm not, you know, doing anything special there. He's got a safety way over. I mean, that's just, that's just insane coverage, and man, oh my god, that's just all his guy, like, I maybe had the running back inside, but that's insane, dude. In man coverage, he actually ran the route better than my receiver, and Mooney's no slouch. I'm off. Good job by Dawson, oh man, it's my fault. But the, the crazy part is, it's like, only sauce is good, yet they're all playing lockdown right now. I just gotta go for quick throws. None of this, like, long setup stuff. Yeah, I said sh stuff. <laughs> like, everything he's doing is super short. 
Oh my god, what a try by Jalen, but damn, Aaron Rodgers is insane. I think that was dashing Deadeye in action there. It's crazy. That throw was like pretty much on the money. It's just the DB was in better position. Buckner and company. That will be a stop, quote unquote. Fourth and two from the 15. Can go for this. He's going to go for the field goal. I think uh, the way I played on offense, I would. <laughs> but the way his uh, success has been on the short game, I, I think I would probably, uh, I'd probably go for that. I got to start going short, though. Like, that's that's what his offense is. It's working. You know, it's so easy to hit the short plays. I've got to do short. I haven't even run a single screen, even though I'm struggling. Almost the whole first quarter gone. Not a single completion to the, well, to the, to the correct team, at least. We've got a completion. Just not on the right team. Back to the ground game away from Quentin. Oh, my God. He just got blasted. Shot by Swift. Good push. The rookie aware of the situation. Two for 75. Yeah, maybe run the ball a little bit. Good old Jack Sanborn. 145 passing yards to our, like, zero. He does have another superstar corner there. DB of some sort. See, it's so easy to show, throw short. Like, nine yards for literally no effort. Oh, now he's running a play where I could actually burn deep. So we get the streak there. This could be something. Cole Komet, wide open. I think that was his user in fairness. Ooh, if Mooney would have got a decent block, maybe. Back to the stretch. Slightly different stretch because you have the two tight ends there. Could actually go uh, with this. And he misses him. Yep. Fun game. Fun game. Fun, fun game. Holy fields his ass. And, like, I don't care if I don't do that timing throw crap. He should not be missing like that. I, I don't care. With these ratings, he should not be missing. That was a good play by him. Fields. Okay! Faster than Fields! I didn't run once this drive. What? Wait, did I run this drive with Fields? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. There's no way he has better stamina than Fields. There's, what am I watching? His guys are on X Games mode. Hit this. Thank God. And he holds on. Finally, Fields. Holy crap, you bot. I'm a bot, and he's just botting me even harder than I'm botting. Which is something. That's saying something, but it's true. Ow! Beat the hell out of me. I don't need that penalty, though. Counter to the left. Oh, just a straight up handoff to the left. Oh my god. Floodgates. Kind of my fault. I, I kind of predetermined the location. Our guys are getting no push up front though. I'd imagine he's just doubling uh, Buckner and it's just happening. Because our other DTs, you know, he's new. He's not the most gifted. Oh, well, I apologize, Crawford. I have made an assumption about you that is not true, apparently. Damn, that running back again. He's going to end up getting Brees benched. He's going to have like 10 uh, catches this game easily. It's so hard to defend. Jalen Johnson inside. I might need to play like speed on speed. I guess Jalen Johnson probably is like the perfect speed for him. Tight ends open. Another short route, we just can't. I mean, it's just impossible to cover short stuff all game. Especially with a freaking pass lead elite quarterback. I try to play short brisker. Oh, damn, I actually kind of got off the block. There was one pass past 10 yards, and uh, Aaron Rodgers like, see it. I'm not throwing that. That ball ain't getting close to where you want it, bucko. No way. Oh, what a catch! I was about to say, that ball is a little risky. And Jalen Johnson, the man who's known for just dropping, like, the most open plays of all time, catches a really tough one. I mean, I'm just going to take the short play. The deep on that has just not been open in so long. I might, If I'm going to use that play in the future, I might just have to cancel the play action. It just feels like the play action on that is literally just free game every time. Drag. Oh, Mooney. 
Mooney, I'm running. I'm running, Mooney. Where are you? Your blitz would have been freaking legendary. Good try by him, in fairness. Ah, of course. Oh my god. Of course. Play's already over. Holding! <laughs> like, what? Who are we holding? I hate DJ Moore against Sauce. It's just a waste. More sacked. Like, our line is the one that needs to hold, apparently. Like, our line is way better than his. <laughs> this guy got nanos! Hello? Oh my god. I mean, I don't know what I do there. I don't know what I do there. That's a really good play, though. Wow, DJ Moore almost got it. I get to go for this for free as well, which is crazy. Finally, Jordan, uh, Jordan Love, Justin Fields delivering a throw. I don't know who his slot guy is, but I don't like him. That's a good throw. Trying to go down, not get uh, murdered. He was ready for the zig, but the other side was a wide open. There you go. Cole Kmet gets this. Okay, I don't know why he, like, spun to get that, but sure. I don't really care. Uh, you know, like, Justin Fields has that chance for the four touchdowns or whatever thing, but could still throw a pick, and more importantly, I just want to... I don't want to just punch this in. There you go. Swift, good play. That was a painful drive. That holding really set us back, and then he had some really insane pressure, and... Just an absolute throw over the middle to DJ Moore, who was able to catch it in stride, you know, like slightly behind him. You know, we lose like two, three yards. I'm not going for it there, you know. That's going to be a punt and no touchdown. Instead, it's 28 to 17. I think we got the ball first too, right? All right, he will be forced to kind of like go deeper, but we are like not in the best of coverages here. Nope, I guess he won't be. <laughs> Reese Hall gets another completion. I am wrong. Eddie, now I've got a user you. Oh, I got back. And that's a really good throw. Good hit, though. I was deep, but I mean, that's not my coverage, obviously. Obviously, I'm nowhere. I'm not so. Ow! Punched the microphone right in the nose. Perfect coverage. That's got to be picked. How is that not picked? His tight end's big-ass body got in the way. That should have been a pick. His guy kind of saved him there. Ain't going to lie. And just enough on him to take away that short throw. I punched the hell out of my microphone there, by the way. Let's go Gordon against uh, Wilson. I was on that close. I was so close. I couldn't tell what it was, but I just, I felt like that was going to be the matchup. The way he ran up slowly to that spot on the field, I should have known it was an out, though. That's my fault. Oh, and he holds on. Come on, Jalen. Who are you covering? I think he was freaking talking up the ref back there. Like, I don't know where what he's doing back there. Like, there, there's nobody behind you, and they can't go any further. Like, as the deep blue safety, you should never be, like, a few yards into the end zone. He's, like, hugging the back line. Like, what is he doing there? I'm so confused. What are you getting back there? Like, what are you actually accomplishing? Like, nothing. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. All right, start of the second half. It's a close game. Oh, nice. Good job by Crawford there. I was going to get him if not, but... I'd prefer to not have to see if we're going to make the play. <laughs> Let someone else do it. Giving up a lot in the pass game and Gordon coming up. And we did get the pressure with Gordon. A lot of, like, look at this. I mean, there was three short plays set up in there. That's what I was trying to defend, but it is tough. It is tough. Gordon did really well there, though. Insane drop back on Wilson. Oh, missed by Rodgers. That is clear easiness. I don't know where the hell Dawson is. I just think our defense just looks completely different without Tremaine. Because we obviously haven't really seen Woodard play that much. And obviously everyone's being moved up a bit. It looks like Blake's an X-Factor from here. Like really red. Valus, the problem. Oh, gets blasted. 
Swift, fighting hard, gains about four on that. Four for 80. Maybe run the ball more. Maybe. He does have everyone up. He pinched him last second, though. And Sosh just carried. Oh! Damn, dude. His, like, ultra elite players are just making solo plays that are, like, just changing things, you know? Damn, Mooney. Get me that block, bro. Might be quick throw to Cole. That's a dot. Good job. Mooney catches that. Big play. I had to run right away because the left tackle gave up, like, instantly. Yeah, he gave up. Play action right now for me is dead. I don't know what he's doing with his guys, but, like, they're instantly getting off the edge. Maybe I had time there, but it just felt like the pocket was collapsing, like, instantly. That's a big play. Could be a touchdown. There you go, Tyler Scott. Big play. Like, our tackles are dying. Like, they're actually doing a pretty good job against Quentin. I guess John Franklin Myers is broken free once. Like, the two guys that should be cooking... Uh, maybe maybe the guys are double teaming inside. I don't know, and it's just leaving one on one outside. But it's the tackles that are losing, not the guards. The guards and center are fine. You know, a couple of run plays aren't going our way, but for the most part, we have obviously a lot of yards on the ground. So it's really just been these tackles, and we're playing against really bad edge rushers. Like these two edge rushers are really low rating. We should not be struggling this hard yet. We are. And then inside, we should be getting cooked, and we're not. So I, I don't know. Maybe it's a good trade off. <laughs> running back's gonna have like a thousand. Oh my god, what a hit. He's literally gonna have a thousand receptions. Come on, Buckner. Good hit. It's like, it's like a lot of short stuff, and there's a run, and then I gotta go into like, you know, run defense, and then it'll be like a drag over the middle or something. And of course. <sighs> Read the screen. <laughs> Read the screen. No pick. And then miss the tackle. Oh my lord. Okay, now it's getting a little crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Like, this is, this is maybe a little bit too much to the running back. Like, it's a different running back this time. But, like, holy. Like, 50% of the completions are to the running back. Very hard to cover the running back. You pretty much have to play man at best. And even then, sometimes you get torched. And you play short, and then that happens, you know? Come on, Buckner, it's all you. I mean, we're covering, like, his best players pretty well, though, at least. That's a good play action. Finally, we get home. Finally! Uche playing against a guy with 65! 65! Finesse blocking. I don't care if he's a superstar. He's terrible at finesse blocking. I'm going to use her, Uche. Oh, my God, he actually is a problem. And then just Dawson doesn't follow through. Damn, good find. That might be my move. Play man coverage because it causes them to have to read the field a little bit a little bit better. And then just user Uche because we almost got there. This is probably RPO. I'll just use her with Brisker. Oh, maybe not. And there's a fumble. He actually might score here. Boogie will put this lead up to seven. That is something. I haven't run this play in a while. This is like almost free yards, this play. I feel like it's actually that broken. Like, five yards isn't crazy, but considering I pump fake, because I was like, maybe I can get more. No, this play is not what I thought it was. We go left. We try by Swift. Six for 94. They run a lot of stretch plays. Stretch is actually really good this year, in fairness, but... I used to be like a crazy inside zone, dude. And the blocking outside is crazy. Saws Gardner clutched down the field to the 26. Swift is cooking. And Fields finally gets to take off. 11 yards on the ground. I do like the man coverage, I think, but I don't know. Screw it. I got time. Oh, that is a crazy bait. Is that zone? Like, everyone, it seems, played a man except for his guy right there. Except for uh, DJ Reed. 
Am I crazy or did I just see the field wrong? I might have just read the whole play wrong. Can I run this again? I like this play. I panicked it last time. I like this play a lot, though. Oh, my God, Quinnen. Good throw away by Fields. I am shocked we got that away. We'll say the game is kind of giving me some pretty, like, one-dimensional looks right now. Like, not a single five-wide set. Halfback angle is pretty good. We actually got picked by uh, Sauce last time, though. This is a crazy reaction play. Nice. Try to go for the bait, but that inside leverage was just too much. Great throw by Fields. Usually miss that. One more touchdown for Fields. Gets him the XP. And we're probably pretty close on the rushing yards. Well, I'm stuck as a deep safety. Turn around. Oh, my God. The possession for these tight ends, though. It's a different tight end this time, too. I think it's Ruckert that time. He trusts his tight ends. I don't trust my tight end at all. And my tight end's better than his, so. My end is way tighter. What? Well, thank you, Buckner, because I sold. I was sitting in the mud there. I was expecting a cutback. Oh, he trying to hurry up on me. Not curry up. Although he is cooking. Oh! How is he not picking that? How is he not picking that? I, I, okay. Okay. Damn, Kyler. I cannot trust anyone but me for interceptions. It is crazy. I'm going to go Uche. Even though I'm in zone and we suck in zone coverage. I need to stop. Buckner. Oh, perfect throw by Rodgers. If I didn't sell, we probably had it. I freaking just... I don't know what I did at the line. But I went stupid mode. That's, that's good. Great D. Good D. I don't know how that's almost caught versus a pick. Stevenson just didn't even go for the pick. He kind of struggles against man a little bit. I mean, it's not a terrible look that he took, but, like, man coverage does seem to be working. I think we let man do its job, and then we hopefully get the pressure with Uche, who's cooking. AI Uche sucks, though. Well, I guess user Uche isn't much better. Off-platform Rodgers, which I suppose is kind of his thing, but still could be the post inside. Damn, Jalen just cooked. Jalen just cooked. It was Vert. Oh, wow, what a truck. But it was Vert, and I don't know if he just pressed him into the ground, but whatever it was worked. His guy could not get away. Maybe even just PI them. I don't freaking know, but I saw that wheel, and it just was never open. And it was like he was anticipating it to be open. I was anticipating it to be open, and it just never got open. Of course, Quentin Williams is engaged in a block, and then he just, like, pushes off weights. Like, Quentin Williams, when I sprinted, turned it into a spy. And there's no way you would spy Quentin Williams. Surely. Ooh, really? There's a bit of suction there, to be honest. That was a little weird. That was super suction, you know? That's a pretty good throw, considering. Ugh. Oh, I should have just threw the Swift off out the gate. Might have had the right side. I can't believe he missed that throw that hard, though. Good try. That ball is just way off, though. Rodgers is missing a lot now. Flip it. Let our guy go on his own. It's way too tough of a, a latch on. Double move inside. Rah. Lazard holds on. How come I can't run like any main coverage? Good move, but I got picked up by a different player. Hardman's not beating Stevenson right now. It's kind of crazy. Just sitting in uh, nickel just because I need something deep over top. Guy like Gordon going against Garrett Wilson. It's not my favorite matchup in the world. Another short throw. Good hit. There's no way Brees doesn't have 10 uh, receptions for him by now. Eight. Holy. That is a lot. Haven't really seen much Nizraldine. That's caught. Wow. Jalen almost had number three. That's kind of crazy. A lot of close calls. Pass lead elite is really cooking right now, though. 
Gives you like extra throw power, I'm pretty sure. Trying to go for that bait. I mean, great coverage, great blitz by Kyler, though. I mean, another throw to the running back. That's crazy. Do we just have him, like, I mean, he's got, like, 400 yards passing, but I was like, do we have him in hell here? Because that is a lot of, like, checkdowns. Like, that's crazy amount. You run Lazard and then chase Garrett Wilson here, right? Surely. I don't know if that was a correct plan, but we actually got the pressure. Just dropping in a little bit more coverage. Let's still bring a little blitzy. Might just be four verts. Slant, number six. Dawson over the middle. Covering Conklin. Oh, blitz from Kyler. Never mind. Kyler cooked. Kyler cooked. The DB blitz is like really the only pressure we had all game. And yeah, his left guard just like didn't engage the first guy. So then the tackle had to cover the edge. Oh, Sauce again is making plays on these uh, these stretch plays. 156 yards rushing. I needed one more touchdown. What a shame. Did his guy keep me in? I was trying to juke last second. They just didn't give it. Nope, foot went out of bounds apparently. Stretch plays are cooking though. He's trying to strip. Sauce with another first down. That's Sauce. Uh, Swift with another first down. Against Sauce this time. DJ Moore outside leverage. No way. Go commit! Oh my god, what a play. That's good bait. How has he dropped that? Oh my god, his guy dropped that hard. Is the jet sweep? No, it's not, is it? Is it? Which one's the one? The sweep is the pass one, right? I don't think either one is the pass one, to be honest. Whether it is or not, I don't really care. Nice. Tyler Scott, rushing touchdown for the dagger. I think it might have been the one that's like, ooh. Damn, he got close on that one. How the hell does Mosley drop that pick? Did he just hold Y the whole way, maybe? I don't know. I saw him there, but I was like, you know what? If I need this, if I'm trying to get this touchdown, that's like the only way I do it right there. But we got our trench boost rushing stuff, I think. Got a lot of yards. Go back to Uche. See if we can actually get past freaking Makai. Oh, it's a run, actually. Nice shot to the knees. I'd say he's trying to get this scenario with Brees, which... I don't know if he keeps it with that many catches. <laughs> That's a lot of receptions. It's like super force. Unless it isn't a scenario game. Oh, he had... I mean, that's just crazy, dude. The amount of catches Brees has. Good hit. The short plays this game were crazy, though. Like, he fuck. I mean, he just went crazy with them. Alan Lazard drops it wide open. Oh, and he misses. Damn, Uche. It's a free sack, brother. Either way, GG to the opponent. That was a painful one. A lot of... Uh, a lot of brutality in that one. There's a missed throw, some drop picks, and... I mean, it was a pretty high-scoring game, so I guess, you know, it worked out in the end. Some pretty good numbers for both sides, and it's impossible to stop the short stuff. I don't know if he actually did have a scenario, but it sure hell seemed like it. 55 yards. If he did, he didn't get it. Nine catches. Holy crap. Uh, Swift, 158 yards of two touchdowns, though. He was cooking without worry. And sadly, that was a rushing touchdown for Tyler Scott, so no passing touchdown for uh, Fields. I could have tried to run it in with Fields, actually. Uh, what else do we have? Mooney with two touchdowns. Uh, where was our numbers, actually? I need to see these. Uh, Moore got locked up. And he wasn't even playing against uh, Sauce most of the game. That's the crazy part. Uh, Tyler Scott, 49 yards. Mooney with 82 and two touchdowns. Cole Komet had a couple of nice plays. Mainly that last one, though, really. Our freaking pass rush 
got like our O line got cooked. Our only pass rush really was uh, Kyler Gordon. Honestly, Jalen Johnson with two interceptions, uh, Sauce with one, and then a pick six for Nisraldeen, and that was the game. Got a couple of upgrades. DeAndre Swift with one of them. He's already almost a 90 overall, which is kind of getting ridiculous. Juke move and spin move are pretty good. It'd be nice to actually get spin move to 90 plus before like going to truck, but I probably will go with trucking, even though I'm like almost never gonna truck with him. Uh, change direction to spin move carry. I mean, I'll, I'll take that. I'm, wow, his break tackle is only 82. Is that something we get more with trucking or power back, whatever you want to call it? Because I. I would prefer to get that. Justin Fields, I'm not really sure what his issue is. Is is just the oblivious sense of pressure? Uh, play action. I mean, his sense of pressure is like 89. We need deep and short, I suppose. But I also kind of want to just go improviser, throw on the run and all that kind of stuff. I'm going improviser anyways, even though we don't need it. Give me a speed, you know? Two to deep, one on the run. That's, that's okay. 90 deep, fair enough. Cameron Smith, I have no idea what the best, like abilities are for uh you know tackles going forward he's playing guard right now but he's gonna play tackle like next season probably or sometime soon two to run block power i mean i just went with run block power because run block in general is terrible but it is what it is we didn't really get a great upgrade there because o-line are just the worst to ever upgrade uh my time i mean i'm gonna click it i guess but yeah, this is a big waste. <laughs> it's just, I mean, what do you, you had a pick six. What are you talking about? There is no need to do better. QB breakout, we were close. Uh, how many yards did we have actually though? It wasn't enough, but oh, we wanted better from him. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Yeah, his dev does remain the same because he's a freaking X factor. I don't know what you want. Uh, but trench boost, we had over 150. I don't know if you need more than 150. But uh, hopefully we get 10k XP here. I think we will. Oh, you need 200. I wonder how close we were to that. 4,500 XP is not bad for the O-line, though. I'll probably do those upgrades if we have them on my own. Because O-line upgrades are just boring as hell anyways. Uh, let's go in the box score and see how many rushing yards we actually had. Was that 181? Uh, 12, 22... 181 so we were off by like 19 for an extra like almost more than double which is kind of crazy but it is what it is gg to the opponent uh yeah well fought like i said you know four and five doesn't mean anything he gave us one of our toughest matchups this season i mean looking back let's see uh somewhat tough we lost this one it was kind of unlucky i think uh tough yeah, I mean, top four toughness game, right? Top three, top four. Pretty good. Not bad at all. Uh, so, especially as, like, a newer user to the league in general, let alone to the team. So, GG to him, and uh, best of luck on him being a long-term user. We could definitely use those. So, uh, you know, GG and, you know, a lot of, you know, a couple of short throws, but he did mix it up a bit. It's just some of those short throws felt like they were, like, rapid secession. So, it just felt like there was a lot, which... There was a decent bit, but at the same time, I don't really reflect on my own throws, and I probably throw short a lot too, so it is what it is. Early game in the league, you know, you're going to try to just get rid of the ball as quick as possible, which, you know, him it led to him having a better passing game than us, and that was with, you know, us running the ball significantly better. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, I really do appreciate your continued support on the channel. Um, maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, PK Plays for non-mana content, and that be it. Hope you guys come back for next video, but until next video, uh, 